look at this puppy. That'll grade it. Sucker squirrely man squirrels your wheels around. Missouri River. Well, Jordan split up with me a while back there. He wants to make some time, and he want to, I guess he wanted to go off and be on his own, which is cool. There's a real difference. He's 29, I'm 63. He's new to the road. He's never done this before. He's mostly on a trip. It's supposed to be a two-month trip. But when you're new, at least when I was, and most guys that I see, you want to go everywhere and see everything, you know, and be constantly moving. And um, after a few years, that wears off. Seems like for most everybody anyway, because you've seen everything and seeing new stuff isn't so exciting and then you get lonely. And then you're in this big world and you're lost and you don't know anybody and you're on some strange road and it gets, it gets to be very painful. And um, you know, I've changed that by settling down and staying places longer. Most guys quit by then and I don't blame them. But those that keep going, come up with some way to fix that they figure out ways around it so you know he's got to go see the world real quick and today I'm wanting to quit a little bit early and, and relax at home uh, we've been riding very hard for days and uh, so if you can imagine it after it kind of gets old and now you're lonely you don't know anybody except the guy you met in the gas station talked to him for 20 minutes and then you're on your way and you're alone again and you're in all these strange towns you don't know anybody so that can get you down unless you figure something out. We're gonna take a look at this strange abandoned house here. I don't know, we'll see what's going on here. Okay, I just stopped here to take my jacket off, really. But you can see this house really looks abandoned, right? I'm not gonna go in and I'm not gonna climb through all that stuff. I don't know if the doors are open or not. And uh, when you go in the back here, we got a boat, okay? And here's some interest a couple of interesting things back here see everything's overgrown okay you got this tractor it doesn't look like it's been moved in a long time to me and you have this uh, fret uh, what do you call that a Fresno I think anyways it's a mowing machine but look at this piece on the back of it it's brand new somebody just put that on there no rust still got the tag on it and we've also got Live chickens living back there. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just keeping their chickens there, but I'm not going to mess with this property. Somebody's still doing something with it. But I just stopped and get out of my jacket and take a leak and because uh, it's gotten hotter now. And I'm going to get moving again. So I'm out of here. in the plains and I just got into South Dakota yesterday.
We're just going to take a look at the place that I stayed last night. Out on the plains, you can get wind, can come up, and you can get storms that come up. And given the, they say, or I read, that the Great Plains gets the most powerful storms on Earth. And I've seen some out here. But, so if I can, I'll sleep inside. So let's just take a look at what I got, okay? There's a road coming in from down there. There's like a fence that doesn't have a lock on it. Okay, and here's my house. And let's take a look inside. It's a big old place, huh? <laughs> it's a little tricky because I had to get my bike through this door which slides open. I believe this place had something to do with cattle. That's what it looks like, huh? And here's my house. Very comfy. It's getting a little hot out. So that's it. So I just pulled in the door. It's tricky getting through that door. Put it in here and I'm getting ready to pack. And um, that was last night's place. There's an upstairs, just a big open room. And there's downstairs that they have covered up with plywood. They blocked it off. And I don't care. <laughs> because no matter what weather came in, I'd have been fine right here. I'm looking to get an early start because the heat's setting in. More often than not, as I cross the plains coming from the east, it's really hot until I get to South Dakota, then it usually gets cool, cools down. This time's been the opposite, so it's kind of like a first. So I'm going to try to get an early start. Break time. It looks to me like this cat's going across the road. Let's take a look at his wheels. Yeah, man, I'm riding. I'm riding from Portland, Maine. Hey, I'm gonna look at your wheels, at your ride. But you can still hear me. That's right. it there. Yeah, go ahead. I'm riding from Portland, Maine, all the way to the mouth of the. I got my money on this guy for racing. <laughs> well, he'll win. But the tortoise wins. I'm pretty race. slow. So yeah, I'm going coast to coast. I'm a little over halfway there. We got this freaking heat dome, man. So I'm gonna hold up right here and wait it out. Play it smart, stay alive, man. Screw that heat stroke shit. Are you gonna go at night? No, I ride during the day. So once I hit the west coast anyways, I'm gonna take a left, I'm gonna ride the Pacific Coast bike road, 1,200 more miles down in Ventura, California. So this is gonna be about a 5,200 mile trip for me. Yeah, Check you... out my YouTube channel. It's called Stu's Expedition Adventure Cycling. Yeah. Run that by again. Stu's Expedition Adventure Cycling. That's S-T-U apostrophe S. And uh, yeah, I'm a venture bound man. I just came out of retirement 11 months ago for bicycling rode the Pacific Coast bike route from the Oregon-Washington border down to Ventura. I call it the MS-1500. Raise money. MS, multiple sclerosis, 1500 as in 1500 miles. Oh, you got MS? Yes, sir. I've had MS for 40 years. I figured out how to beat it. Let me see, a little shaky. I used to have a girlfriend with MS. I was on stage eight years ago. I spent four years in a wheelchair. 
How did you get out of it? I changed the pH of my body from acidic to alkaline. The disease cannot survive. That's all you did? I did that. You didn't I, do it with chemicals and all kind of shit like that? Hell no. Uh-uh. I, I totally unmedicated the entire time. I can't take their stupid disease-modifying drugs. It almost killed me. So what did you do? What did you do? Because uh, I have friends with MS, man. Coral calcium from Okinawa, Japan. Just Google Robert Barefoot. And it'll bring you right to the site where you can order it. It comes, it's a pill for it. We take three times a day. And um, it comes with a pH testing kit and specific instructions on how to use it. And uh, you can, so you can check the pH of your body anytime you want. It took me about three months to go from a 4.5 on the pH scale to 7.5, which is optimal if you want to be. Can't you do this by changing your diet? You can. Uh, that'll take forever. It might work and it might not work. But uh, see, coral calcium from Okinawa, Japan is a highly alkaline agent. Coral calcium? Coral calcium. So you're eating old coral. Yeah. They must it's, grind it up. It, yep. It's the reason why virtually the entire population of Okinawa is disease free and they all live to be, sorry, not all of them, but they yeah. regularly, regularly live to be 120 years old. So, uh. Because yeah. Okinawa is sitting on one giant coral <coughs> calcium deposit. All the water they so drink. So, southern is Florida. Florida. Yeah, well, it's not, to say, it's not the right prefecture. Mm. It ain't the right calcium, it ain't the right uh, coral. As far as I know. Mm. Uh, this is my 10th bicycle tour, 10th long bicycle tour. When I complete this, this trip, I will have completed the miles around the planet, 25,000 miles. This is, uh, How many miles you get out of a tire, do you know? About. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. So actually, that front tire, <laughs> gonna know? that front tire, I buy used for five bucks in Ventura, California before me and my bike hopped on the Antrap and went to Maine. Oh, so you're going home, you're going back. You're I'm from, from California? North, no, I'm from northern Minnesota, originally. But my last tour, I rode down to Ventura, and I stayed there. That used to be my home base back when I was in my 20s, and I did eight long bicycle tours. It's going to be too hot this afternoon. Yeah, I'm staying, but I'm going as far as this place, and I'm going to sit out the rest of the afternoon there. But, of course, I'll be there a lot quicker, you know. Let's look at this map. Okay, we are in... I came in through all here and because this here is South Dakota, right? So we're in Burke and that camp spot's right here. And so it looks like it's about 70 miles, 60, 70 miles. Yeah, I had a girlfriend with MS and she couldn't walk and then she got something that made her able to walk again. And also she liked to take a lot of walks. We went on a lot of walks. I asked her why she liked to walk so much. She said because she could. She didn't used to be able to. <laughs> Stuff you take for granted, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm doing this. Cause I couldn't do it for 20 years. I can do it again. Hey, man, that's. I was, I'm never gonna stop. Man. Now, I'd known that John was heading the same direction as me for the rally, but he was just a little bit north of me. So I called him up to see where he was, and it turns out that he was like half an hour from Ghost Hawk Park. He was staying in some uh, city park or something, I don't know. But I told him, I said, this place is much better, as you guys will probably see in the next video. So he's like, yeah, hell, I'll meet you out there. So we decided to meet at Ghost Hawk Park and spend the heat of the afternoon and the night there. This is, we're on the Rosebud Indian Reservation which is known for being a very rough place, a lot of drug addiction, a lot of problems. Uh, kind of the ghetto, you know, but my experiences here have been positive, and I've met some people here. So, I'm gonna go through and camp at Ghost Hawk Park, because I love Ghost Hawk Park. So, John's already there, probably. Park. See if I get in here one. 
pretty over there, right? I need both hands to park this bike. What up, buddy? What up, man? Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat Ghost Hawk Park, can you? Oh, man, this is nice. This is nice. This fucking place. I love we stay right here. It's shady. It's in the shade. I've stayed other spots. I just like this one. Yeah. So I always stay right here. Just, I saw the creek over there. I don't fuck around. I ain't get in it. I was uh, 30 miles from here. I was a half hour away. Yeah, what a deal. Let me get out of this shirt. Now I'm going to leave you guys the usual links in the drop box below. But I also want to let you know that all the material I have here is also on these other free speech channels, which I can't leave links to or I'll get spanked, which I get irritated with getting spanked over here. It only, they're the same material, but they may be a little different from time to time because I'm not being silenced over there. I can say whatever I want, so can you. And the other thing is, is like sometimes there's copyrighted music where I have to silence pieces of these videos here. But over there, I don't. They just don't fuck with me over there. So anyways, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm over there too. And those channels are beginning to get a lot of subscribers. There are quite a few subscribers as well. Anyways, that's also another option for you. And with that, you guys, I'll see you all on the next video.